What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number nine of our Oakland Raiders franchise as the Raiders are getting ready to take on the Seattle Seahawks. This is not going to be an easy game. The Raiders are coming into this game on a two-game losing streak, and now we have the task of facing the defending Super Bowl champions. Now, the Seahawks are not having a great year so far, so there's a little bit of hope for us. But that being said, they're still the Seahawks. They just won the Super Bowl. I mean, they're capable of going off on any game. They could have been dealing with injuries that we don't know about. So, really, we're going to have to be focused, especially for this young team to win in Seattle, the best home team in the NFL. We're really going to have to have a lot of our younger guys step up, make some plays, and hopefully uh, gain some momentum and turn this uh, season back around. Russell Wilson leading the way for the Seahawks. Uh, you know, very good young quarterback from Wisconsin and NC State. A guy to keep an eye on. Robert Turbin and Marshawn Lynch at running back. Marshawn Lynch is an incredible player. Derek Coleman, a former Charlotte Hornet. No, I'm, I'm messing with you guys. Percy Harvin, a wide receiver. A huge weapon. Uh, somebody that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Doug Baldwin's actually a receiver I like a lot. As well, Luke Wilson, uh, you may know him from Bottle Rocket, is going to be the tight end. Uh, their offensive line is not really all the... I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm messing with you guys this episode. Uh, the offensive line is really not all that good, though. Um, however, obviously, their defense is where it's at in Seattle. And just a star-studded defense. Everywhere you look, we're going to have guys that we're going to have to watch out for. Bobby Wagner, I mean, 89 speed at middle linebacker. You know, he's going to be uh, roaming the field everywhere we try to go. However, however, look at this. Richard Sherman is looks appears to be hurt and... It is confirmed. Richard Sherman is out of this game. That is a huge player that we're not going to have to worry about. However, it's still not easy to pass on these guys. Earl Thomas and Chancellor in the backfield. Uh, Hoshka at kicker, the, the kicker position. And, yeah, uh, Percy Harvin again. Got to watch out for that speed. Let's kick things off here. Sebastian Janikowski is going to kick it down to uh, Adams. Not going to be... Um, Harvin, luckily. Wilson taking over now for the Seahawks. Sorry, I stumbled over my words there. Sidney Rice right off the bat. A gain uh, up to about the 38-yard line. So a gain of 18. Marshawn Lynch on the very next play will pick up five. Second and five. Lynch again. Nowhere to go. It's going to bring up third down. Third and two. Russell Wilson in the pocket. And he finds Sidney Rice once more. Rice across midfield down to the 45-yard line. This time, Wilson making the catch, and he gets up to the 37, second and two after the eight-yard reception. Marshawn Lynch on the left side, and he will pick up the first down there. First and ten, little play action for Russell Wilson. He's going to run the ball, and he doesn't pick up much, but it's still something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Second and six after the four-yard gain. Doug Baldwin this time is not going to have enough for the first down. That's going to bring up third and three. This is a big play for the Raiders' defense, and they will get... Lynch for a one-yard loss. Hoshka is going to knock it right through the uprights there, and that will give the Seahawks a 3-0 lead. But the Raiders can respond here, and that would be huge if we can uh, score a touchdown take the lead early in this game. Maurice Jones-Drew ran for three up the middle this time. He's going to pick up the first down, about a 10-yard run there. A little play action to McFadden this time. On the right side, he overthrows Marcel Reese there. And then Bruce Ellington, the uh, South Carolina connection there. Shaw hands it off to McFadden, I believe. Second and five. Shaw dropping back. Ellington's going to drop this pass from his former college teammate. Third and five on the left side. Down the field. Chris Owusu cannot hold on to the ball. That is a crucial drop. And not really what we want to see in that situation. Marshawn Lynch runs it nine yards. And on the next play, who he will pick up the first down. Uh, Turbin now with the ball, and he is going to pick up two, second, and eight. Turbin once more up the middle, picking up about seven more, third and one. A little pitch to Lynch on the outside, and he does not have enough for the first down. Great stand by the Raiders defense there to catch up to him. And Maurice Jones-Drew will run for seven up the middle, second and three on the right side. McFadden is going to pick up the first down, so fresh set of downs for the Raiders. Maurice Jones-Drew on the right side has a blocker in front of him. He is still going down the field up to the 45-yard line. A huge run there. By Maurice Jones, Drew McFadden this time. A nice run for nine. A little play action. Shaw dropping back. He finds Marcel Reese down to the 32-yard line. Second quarter now. Shaw's going to try to scramble, but he has nowhere to go. Cliff Averill with the stop. Ellington this time on the right side. Only going to pick up a yard or two. I picked up three. Third and 14. Big play. Bruce Ellington cannot hold on to the ball. And with the wind in our face, we actually couldn't kick a field goal. It was like a 10-mile-an-hour wind, and it just would have been too difficult, so we had to punt the ball away as the Seahawks take back over. A nice run by Marshawn Lynch up the left side there. Once more, he only gains a yard this time. 
Turbin now on the left side of the field. He will pick up about three, bringing up third and six for Russell Wilson. And he finds a wide open Sidney Rice. Sidney Rice is really getting pretty open on us right now. We definitely need to figure out our coverage and stop him as Doug Baldwin with the reception for eight yards there. Second and two. Russell Wilson pressure is coming and he is going down. A nice sack by Pat Sims there. Third and ten for the Seahawks. Pressure is coming again, but he finds Wilson. Wilson with a nice first down grab there. And the Seahawks are in striking territory here. Once again, Raiders defense is going to need to make something happen. You don't want to fall in too big of a hole against the Seahawks team early on. And Keith McGill, the rookie, will do just that. Big interception there by the Raiders, and they will have the ball back. Shaw hands it off to Maurice Jones Drew right up the middle. A gain of 12 yards. A little play action now with success after the run game. And once more, he overthrows Marcel Reese. A few bad passes here by Shaw early on, and his receivers, when they do. Uh, have the ball in their hands. They've been dropping it. So, you know, a lot of mistakes that we're going to have to correct if we're going to have a chance here. But Denarius Moore across midfield with a nice reception there. 31 yards passing for Shaw. He's really kind of struggling as he throws the interception to Bruce Irvin making the play there. And just like that, the Seahawks have the ball back. A little play action for Russell Wilson. Pressure is coming. He breaks the tackle and finds Derek Coleman on the left side for a five-yard gain. Second and five. And that's really what Russell Wilson is so good with, is making something out of nothing. A two-yard run there, third and three, finds Jermaine Curse, and Curse will pick up the first down. So first and ten, uh, just over two minutes to go, left in half. Luke Wilson on the right side of the field, picking up the first down. Marshawn Lynch right up the middle, a nice little spin move. And he is just incredibly good as they are down to the 24-yard line. Russell Wilson is going to scramble again, takes a slide after a gain of six. Second and four, pressure's coming, and he is going down on this play. Nowhere for him to go. Third and nine, Russell Wilson going to try to run it again. That is three plays in a row. He slides down, and the Seahawks are going to have to settle for a field goal. But that will give them a 6 nothing lead going into half. You know, I'm okay with our defense only allowing six points, but our offense is really struggling. Our run game has been solid. Uh, but we have a lot we need to work on in the second half, guys. I'll show you the stats, and I will catch you there. Back in the second half now, the Raiders are going to start off with the ball, and it's very important that we get going early here so we can kind of get some momentum on offense. The first half was one of our worst offensive performances of the season. Obviously, against the Seahawks, you kind of expect this struggle. Um, but we really did not do much of anything, and uh, it's a good start early for us here. Oh, Shaw is going down. He didn't have time to do anything as Adams made the stop. Maurice Jones drew up the middle, picking up two. Third and 12, and another bad pass by Shaw there, way behind the target. And that's going to give the Seahawks the ball back, but they are pinned back on their own six-yard line after another incredible punt by Marquette King. Uh, Russell Wilson's going to scramble here. He's got a blocker in front of him. One more guy to beat, and Russell Wilson is going down the field. The 50, 40, the 30, 25, 20, 15. He is gone. They are not going to catch him. Russell Wilson, that has to be the longest run ever by a quarterback for a touchdown, if I had to guess. Unbelievable play. And he was trying to run it towards the end of the first half, and as they go for two, it's going to be batted down, but unbelievable play one play just like that in this game is completely turned around it's now a two possession game granted if we get two touchdowns we'd have the lead but unbelievable play by russell wilson there it's going to be very important for connor shaw to lead this raiders team down and try to get some momentum here because it's about to be a blowout after a play like that the seahawks are going to be on fire and we need to silence this crowd as quick as possible d'anthony thomas running now uh, Maurice Jones drew back in the game. He was out for a few plays with an injury. Uh, and he picks up seven there. Maurice Jones drew once more. So the Raiders are in striking distance now. Connor Shaw on the left side. He's going to try to run it. He gets the ball off. That one's going to be batted down. Second and ten now for the Raiders. Maurice Jones drew gets stuffed right off the bat. So huge third down play. Third and nine. And a miscommunication with the Anthony Thomas. They are going to have to settle for a field goal. Janikowski will knock it right through the uprights. So 3-12. to 12, It's a nine-point game, uh, which means it's officially still a two-possession game. But a field goal and a touchdown would give us the lead. So we're not out of this yet, but our defense needs to step up. We cannot allow another play to Russell Wilson. Gosh, I, I freak out every time I see him running the ball now. Over 100 yards running for Russell Wilson after that huge play. Third and one. Um, outside of that one play, we've done an okay job of containing them, but when you give up a play like that, it's a game changer, and that's kind of what happened. 
Uh, second and five now, Russell Wilson in the pocket, finds Percy Harvin who's going down the field, and he was about to break it away down to the 28-yard line. We are in the fourth quarter now, and the Raiders' defense is going to need to step up now. Marshawn Lynch has nowhere to go. It's going to bring up third and five. Russell Wilson's going to drop back on the left side. He finds Percy Harvin. First down, Seal Moore forces a fumble, but it goes out of bounds, unfortunately, for the Raiders. And as you, If you saw that, 16 of 17 for Russell Wilson. He is having a phenomenal game. The Raiders' defense has no uh, answer for any of the receivers' speed uh, on the Seahawks as Doug Baldwin makes a nice grab there. First and goal, Marshawn Lynch going on the left side into the end zone. Khalil Mack could not catch him in time, and that is very likely the game unless we see some heroic comeback led by Connor Shaw. Pressure's coming, uh, and once more, they're actually going to fail on the two-point conversion. Khalil Mack making the stop there. Two-yard game by Maurice Jones-Drew, and nowhere to go. Just a wall of Seahawks, third and nine there. On the left side, Bruce Ellington, the Gamecock connection uh, with a nice reception. First and ten for the Raiders. Chris Awusu making a grab. That one's going to go for about three yards. Second and seven, batted down. Very lucky that wasn't intercepted. Third and seven now. And on the left side, Bruce Ellington once more. Another clutch third down play there. First and 10, McFadden up the middle this time. He will get it up to about the 49-yard line of Seahawk territory. On the right side, McFadden picking up another first down. So Shaw, once again, kind of moving this team down the field, but we need to capitalize. We can't settle for another field goal at this stage in the game. That is very lucky not to be intercepted. Third and three now. McFadden with a nice first down grab. So uh, Matt, or Connor Shaw has been very... Very good on third down play so far on this drive. Second and nine. Connor Shaw dropping back. Pressure's coming. He finds Denarius Moore. Not going to be enough for a first. Bringing up another third down play. Third and four now. On the left side, Chris Owusu holds on to the ball. A huge play there down to the 17-yard line. And Greg Little going for the end zone now. He dives and gets knocked out at about the two-yard line. Connor Shaw dropping back. Denarius Moore cannot hold on to the ball. He's going to drop it. Shaw is actually going to get sacked now for a four-yard loss. Third and goal for the Raiders here. Here. A huge play, and it is batted down. They are going to go for it on fourth down. Connor Shaw wide open. Nick Casa touchdown for the Raiders. Nick Casa wide open. Nobody was even near him. A breakdown in coverage by the Seahawks, something you don't see often. Uh, they're going to go for two here, and Maurice Jones-Drew will get in, but there is a holding on the play, and considering we're down 15, we're going to have to kick a field goal here and try to get a two-point conversion if our defense can hold strong and we can get another touchdown. Great play there by Tyvon Branch, sacking Russell Wilson once again. This is going to be third and long after two consecutive sacks, third and 23. Pressure's coming again. He gets the ball off, and the Raiders are going to have the ball back here. And have pretty good field position to make something happen. Connor Shaw underthrows Bruce Ellington on the play. Second and 10 now for the Raiders. Pressure's coming. He's going to get sacked. That's going to bring up third and 20 now. And down the field, Denarius Moore has separation. He's going. And it was a little underthrown. Otherwise, Denarius Moore could have taken that to the house. Either way, down to the 19-yard line. Osbury on the right side, a 5-yard reception, 14-yard line. Play action on the left side. Nick Casa once again picking up a first down to the 6. Unbelievable play by the Raiders right now. A little play action pressure is coming. And he overthrows his target. That could have been the touchdown. Second and goal. Uh, throws too high this time. Third and goal now for the Raiders. Going to try a little screen to Owusu. It's not going to be enough. One last chance here. Connor Shaw into the end zone. Maurice Jones-Drew cannot hold on to the ball. Earl Thomas knocks it out of his hands. And that is a huge drop that just cost the Raiders the game. I, maybe I should have tried running it in. Maybe I got caught up in the moment trying to get Connor Shaw that touchdown pass. I don't know. But I definitely feel like we had opportunities. He overthrew the ball twice, and then the drop. That's just, un you, you can't have that, you know? Um, and again, Earl Thomas, one of the best safeties in the NFL, so he's more than capable of knocking the ball out of his hands. But that is a heartbreaker right there. Um, but overall, I, I can't be mad, you know? It, it sucks. We, we should have at least had a shot at that two-point conversion uh bad coaching maybe maybe i should have uh ran the ball in once we got down to the six but you know we only lost by eight in seattle we only gave them 18 points and um you know you take away one mistake or so and we could have pulled off a victory against the defending super bowl champions uh 
Ultimately, we didn't get it, but I love to see that uh, leadership by Connor Shaw down the stretch to march the team down the field. And again, he, he kind of underthrew Den uh, Denarius Moore on that catch. Had Denarius Moore been able to run in stride, no way anybody would have caught him there. But it is what it is. We're not going to get the victory here today, guys. But that's okay. This young team showed a lot of heart and definitely gives us promise uh, Something to look forward to, I should say, moving on to uh, the next week, as I definitely feel like we played okay today. Uh, I wish we would have done a little bit better on defense, but again, only giving up 18 points to the Seahawks isn't all that bad. Uh, Russell Wilson, without that one big play, you know, we win this game, in my opinion. We could have kicked a field goal there to win it. So without that, ultimately, we, we did okay, guys, I feel like. But anyway, a lot to improve on still, and we are going to continue working on it, make these players better. Uh, hopefully I can get better Pat Sims with a nice game there and I will announce the uh, players of the week the gate the two game balls with our whole Twitter idea in the news video guys so thank you so much for watching guys the amount of support I've been getting is incredible you guys have been leaving the nicest comments ever I read them all I swear and I will see you guys next time thanks again for watching and yeah later